Right, welcome to a very special review uh, for the channel here. I have started to collect uh, artwork that Games Workshop have produced. Originally, when I got into the hobby, it was the artwork that I saw uh, that then got me into the actual uh, game of Warhammer 40,000. And there's a company out there, I didn't even know they existed until a short time ago, they're called Warhammer Art. Uh, you can check out their website, uh, we'll, we'll get more into what they do a bit later on. Uh, but on there, they, uh, in working with Games Workshop, uh, have started to reproduce uh, some of the artwork and it's not your, your average poster, these are collectible prints, they're nicely framed and you can buy them in different formats and so on. So um, I'm going to collect a few of them I think and just going to, I've chosen some of the ones that I, ones I've got in mind, sort of some famous iconic ones and ones that link in well with armies and things that we have on the channel. So I've got my first one has arrived here through the post, uh, nicely packaged. So I'm going to open up the box here, we're going to re review the artwork, take a look at it. Uh, talk about why I've sort of chosen it as well, gone for some quite iconic ones uh, and then give a bit more information uh, about these prints that are available. So I'm going to open mine up here. It's very well packaged, it needs to be well protected. Now the, these are high-end prints here, so as I mentioned uh, it's not your average like poster that you get. This, this is something that's at the high end of the market, it's very very collectible indeed. I'm just going to pull this out carefully, so we'll flip it over in a moment. So what you get inside is a certificate of authenticity, it comes with uh, most of the prints that come through, uh, it tells you uh, what the print is, the edition number, they work on low amounts, so this is number 9 out of 250, this is very highly collectible stuff. And it carries a signature from someone at Warhammer Art, and also a signature from someone at Games Workshop, so sort of the, they're working together on this, it's very sort of official uh, releases being done by this company, so you have that there, goes with the print, I guess that's your fixing supplied as well, if you're going to put it up on the wall, and then we're all over here, it is Marnius Augustus Calgar, uh, I remember this being featured on the front cover of a White Dwarf magazine years ago, uh, just very very iconic piece of artwork. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up here and we'll get a nice uh, close-up view of this famous piece of Warhammer art. Right, so still got the protective packaging on here. This is number 9 out of 250. Uh, the one that I've gone for uh, is a uh, framed print and then it's uh, 300 millimetres by 450, which I thought was quite small, but when you add in the backing, the frame here, it's actually a large very large print indeed, it's a very nice size to it, even when you go for the smaller option. Uh, there are other options that you can go for. I'm just looking at the website here, you can go for a studio canvas, a framed canvas, framed print, which is this one here, and they do an aluminium print as well, which I'm not sure how that would look. Uh, so I might get maybe one of each type just to compare. I'm sure they'll all look very nice, but this is sort of your standard framed print here, but it does look very nice indeed. Uh, so we'll remove this protective packaging, swim around the edges. Just do get the sense this is very high end sort of quality here, I'm trying to handle it very carefully indeed. It's a nice finish, a black frame. That is a good job. Just remove the last of them. Yeah, so there it is. And then I'll just roll it over so you can see the back. So that's wood there, and then taped around in the frame there, and then there's your fixings as well. So, I mean, it's immaculate finish, even on the back here. So, professional quality all the way through, which is very nice indeed. So I just found out about the website, went on there, and just could see the different images, and then just imagine them being put up on a wall. Uh, a nice collection of them. I think it looked really nice indeed. So. Uh, there's a number of reasons why you want to collect these kind of things. The, the artwork from Games Workshop is very iconic indeed. Uh, and then I think they're great as collectible items, especially in the low print runs that they're doing for these. Uh, I think they'll hold their value very, very well indeed. And just sometimes it's nice, you know, you collect an army, maybe you're collecting ultramarines, you finish your collection, and there's something like this to go with them. Uh, I think it's a great addition indeed, especially you can hang it up perhaps in your studio, or even you could. Uh, keep it at your wargaming club, put it on the wall there. Maybe a club could uh, join together and you could buy a few prints and, and put them up that way. 
uh, is another idea as well. Birthday, Christmas presents, that kind of thing. I think these these things are really good indeed. I even remember when I was uh, getting into the hobby, when I was about 14 or 15, I had an auntie of mine and she used to buy me a Games Workshop voucher and then every year that voucher came in a uh, like a car birthday card inside and she'd write a message and the voucher was inside but it had a piece of Warhammer art on the front. I used to collect those cards, I really like them. So I've always been a big fan of Games Workshop artwork. Remember I used to uh, again, when I was young, uh, getting into the hobby, I used to take the, some of the illustrations from White Dwarf and I used to copy them out by hand and do line drawings and so on. So you, you can't separate the artwork of Games Workshop from the tabletop hobby. The two are linked so well together. I sort of neglected it a bit on the channel. Uh, but with the artwork that Zachary Madeira's done, uh, and then now finding out about this company that are reproducing these Games Workshop prints, I um, hope to feature a bit more. Uh, of the iconic Games Workshop art in uh, future videos. But this is the one I've gone for. Uh, we'll just give a bit more information about this particular print. So uh, a lot of the artworks the Games Workshop do is, is a battle scene, you've got two armies fighting and you've got lots going on. Sometimes some of the most iconic ones, there's a famous one for the tower as well, uh, that I remember used to be on the, the front cover of the old Fire Warrior uh, computer game. Uh, but for this one, for the Ultra Rains, there's, there's no battle going on here. It just gives you an opportunity just to, to absorb and to appreciate the detail of the armour uh, of uh, Marnius Augustus Calgar here. And that's why I think it's so iconic. And just the pose as well, just sitting upon uh, this throne here and the armour laid out. It's a very relaxed sort of position, but I think it just looks really good. Very, very good indeed. So, uh, Marnius Augustus Calgar is the current chapter master of the Ultramarines, Space Marines chapter, and Lord of Bacratch, capital world of the realm of Ultramar uh, on the eastern fringes of the galaxy. Some reports have stated that following a skirmish against the minor Tyranid High Fleet Perseus in M976 M41, Calgar lost all four limbs as well as large areas of body tissue and his left eye. Now fitted with bionic replacements, he is more machine than man, however he remains in firm control of the Ultramarines chapter and one of the greatest champions of the Emperor and the cause of mankind who has ever lived. So, very very iconic character for Space Marines, especially for the Ultramarines there as well. So mostly uh, a mechanical uh, soldier. So it's Marius Calgary, he's one of the High Lords of Terror as well. Um, you'll find this on the Space Marines Gallery uh, Warhammer Art. And the artist, the famous Dave Gallagher, um, and it was painted in 2004, so it's, it's old enough uh, of a painting, but still uh, very iconic indeed. Things that I like about it is that he's pulled out the image uh, of Calgar here, but in the background you've still got plenty going on, but it's, it's been distanced, it's pushed back. He's kept the blues running through as well, so the whole image links in really well. The typical Games Workshop artwork there's always little details, little things going on. A uh, little servo scar, see just here. Little areas of interest, another one just there. Uh, some detail just next to the frame. So the, the longer you look at the painting, uh, the more you see going on in the background. There's a couple of, um, you may not even be able to see them, there's a couple of servitors just way, way back in the shadows. Here, yeah, one here holding a bolt gun. And then these two uh, guards of the frame there as well. Ultramarine uh, symbols up here as well. Then you've got all the heraldry and details on the armour all picked out. Yeah, I mean, the more you look, just looking in here, it's fighting tyranny, it's all etched into the armour. So, very, very nice indeed. Yeah, just looking at the Warhammer Art website here, uh, it's very high quality stuff that they're using. Uh, the print process, the actual materials that they use. On every aspect, just the, the, the paper that's printed on, all of the frame framing that's done, even the tape that's used on the back. They try and use materials that don't age uh, and yellow over time, so they're calling it conservation framing. So it's, the idea is that it's framed uh, and built to last using very high quality materials. There's loads of information uh, here on the website uh, about the quality materials that they use. So it, it is quality. Um, so if you go on there, the prices are. Yeah, as I said, it's not your regular artwork you're looking at, it's not really posters as such, uh, but it's high quality prints. But you, you pay for what you get, uh, and here is a very, very nice quality.
piece of artwork indeed. And just imagine, you know, you've got a gaming uh, area set up or an area of your club. Uh, it is nice to have artwork up on the walls, um, especially Games Workshop artwork. It's some of the best artwork out there uh, in the wargaming world. Right, so just zoomed out there so you can uh, see uh, the artwork again in its frame. Very nice indeed. Uh, so Warhammer Art, they're based in the UK. Um, it says here they ship worldwide, so I think these prints are available to everybody. Wherever you are, um, you will be able to get a hold of these. Right, so just on the website here, uh, there's a number of sections. Uh, they have the prints, so Space Marines, uh, which is where I've got this one from here, uh, with your famous uh, Space Marine artwork. Then there's one called Cover Art, and I'm just going into it here. Yeah, it's artwork really that's been used on codexes and so on. Uh, so some of the very iconic stuff from there. Even rule book uh, artwork here. Fourth edition artwork you can get as a print. Uh, computer game artwork is here. Dawn of War 2, Chaos Rising, Space Marine computer game. That artwork's available as well. So even if you're a fan of some of those games, uh, that artwork is available from them. And fifth edition artwork as well. It's interesting. And there's some older ones here, ones that go way, way back, which I'm glad they've done, because some of those are very iconic as well. So that's cover art. And right, then they have got a section for Chaos Space Marines as well. Those inside there. Then one for the Imperium. Uh, that'll be things like your Imperial Knights, uh, Sisters of Battle and so on. And then uh, a Xenos section, which is all of your Orcs, Eldar, Tyranids, Tau and so on loads inside that one and then they've got an open edition as well what's just interesting some of the prints they have is heraldry and sort of like plans from like schematics and plans from uh, different machines like some of the Imperial Knights as well so interesting variety uh, I don't think they do every piece of artwork uh, the Games Workshop have done but it's quite a collection that they have uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I think it's really exciting that they're now available so that you can collect them and have them in quality prints like this. So very very nice indeed. So there it is, mine is Augustus Calgar. It's the first print that I've got. Uh, it's very iconic I think for Space Marines. Uh, I saw that one on there and I thought yeah well James has got Ultramarines. Uh, they do feature quite heavily on the channel so I thought we'll go for that one. Um, so glad to have that one there. There's a, there's a number of others that I do have my eye on. Uh, they have sort of made a list of ones that I might gradually get over time. So I hope to do a bit of a series on these. Um, so you get to see the prints and, and then sort of discuss in the artwork uh, behind uh, each one as well. So uh, that's the review. Check out warhammerart.com. Uh, you'll get an idea of what they do on there. And uh, keep a look out for more reviews uh, of artwork from them in the future. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.